Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and on today's video, I'm going to take a look at something which may be beneficial to some of you that are security conscious. Now, all of us, pretty much everyone, uses some form of antivirus prevention on your computer, especially obviously Windows 10, Windows 11 users, which this is mostly aimed at. But it always seems to me that most of the virus vendors, or the actual people who make antivirus software, are basically kind of all the same in their almost wanting you to have a virus so they have a reason to have their products, which always makes me a little bit concerned that how good they actually are. Now, obviously the built-in Windows one is absolutely fine in most cases, but if you're someone who goes off onto the internet and goes off to some of the, uh, let's say, further reaches of the internet, then there is the potential you can get a virus or malware on your system. Or even if you install some very well-known programs, you can still end up with malware on your computer or things such as potentially unwanted programs or PUPs as they're otherwise known. So these kind of aren't necessarily a virus as such and not really malware, but they're things which can get onto your system and kind of clog it up and generate things on startup and just slow your system down in general. So this program we're gonna be looking at today is actually designed and created by someone who has been on the AV forums for a very, very long time and has worked with various different companies over the years and has now decided to create his own malware removal tool, which is excellent news. So this is someone who kind of knows the industry pretty well, can see what's going on and has really got a fantastic product, which is extremely lightweight, extremely powerful and just does what it says on the tin without loads of pop-ups or trying to get you to buy any software. So in my books, that is definitely a good thing. So let's head over to the computer and we'll take a closer look. So we're over on our computer now, so all we need to do is type in FurtiveX and press enter, and you'll see it comes up pretty much as the first result. So FurtiveX Computer Solutions. Also, if you want to, you can head over to GitHub, and there's various videos as well, so you can check out the videos. Also, you can download the software from Major Geeks as well. Most of us have used uh, Major Geeks at some point in our lifetimes. Major Geeks is an awesome repository for excellent software. And also you can go to places like Toolslib, etc. Anyway, let's go to the Furtivex Computer Solutions website. There's two main programs that uh, they're actually doing. So the first one is the Furtivex Malware Removal Script, which is what we're going to be taking a look at today. And also, for those of you who like to kind of just strip out all of the crap that's in Windows, you've got the private Windows script or Priv Windows. We maybe will take a look at that in a follow-up video later on. We're going to be looking at this one today, so FurtiveX Malware Removal Script Tool, and you've got the download links there. That's for Windows 10 and Windows 11 users. So let's head over and click on Information. We'll take a close look at what it's all about. So you can see here, basically does exactly what it says on the tin tells you what to do, how to use it, etc., and all the things it will do. Obviously, it's a very basic program, but it's very powerful, and it's pretty aggressive as well for cleaning out things in your task scheduler, process terminations, and also getting rid of some of the applications which are in the run once area. Basically, checking out your system for viruses, and also it will clear caches from things like Edge, Chrome, Vivaldi, Brave, etc 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 so loads of cash will be cleared out so it will actually make your system feel a little bit quicker after all now it can actually create a system restore point and it'll be named furtivex malware removal script that is only if you have system restore enabled now depending on what your system is and where you are with your system i would obviously strongly suggest before you do any of these types of scripts is to try and make a full backup of your system if at all possible that is entirely up to you. Obviously, if you're in a point where your system may be absolutely teeming with viruses and things, then maybe you don't want to back it up anyway. You just want to try and clean it up. As with any software, things can go wrong and things can get deleted, erased, removed, etc. So I just wanted to make you massively aware of that fact. And also, when you're running this, there is a disclaimer as well, of which, obviously, we want to make you aware of. Anyway, I think I've waffled on about this enough, so let's see what it's like actually in action. So we'll click on the download link. Again, you can get it from here or you can get it from Major Geeks, etc. I'll put links for those in the video description if you want to check it out. And I'm just going to save this to our Windows desktop. And it's going to be very quick to do so. And you see fmrs.exe has finished downloading. Excellent stuff. So we can close this now. We don't need this open anymore. And then we've got our tool. So we need to right click on it and choose Run as Administrator. Now it's going to come up with this Windows Protected Your PC purely for the fact that they haven't paid to have it 
as a known publisher, so they haven't got a publisher's certificate because those cost a lot of money. So don't worry about it, it's absolutely fine. Click on run anyway, and you'll get the user account control come up. Say yes to that. And then you'll get this very simple command box come up. And also again, the disclaimer. So just to read through that, just for complete transparency, uh, disclaimer of warranty, this software is provided as is without warranty of any kind. You may use this software at your own risk. Are you sure you want to continue? Click yes to continue, no to exit. So it's very clear, obviously, there is no warranty or any kind of uh, repercussions for this. If you use it, it's on you. Obviously, all of that applies. So make backups first if you can. If not, take your life into your own hands, as it is with all scripts these days. So we're going to click yes to continue, and we'll let it do its thing. So what it's going to do, it's going to use various different antivirus engines to actually scan through the system. This can take quite a while as well. So there's various stages that it will go through, and it'll tell you what it's doing at each time. So what it's going to do, first of all, it's going to close the majority of programs on your system because you can't remove viruses or bad programs if they're running. Simple as that. So it's also going to prevent relaunching of programs as well from auto launch, the task scheduler, and also removing some of the services and drivers that are part of auto launch, which is where some of these viruses can hang out. Also there is clean the caches and yeah, basically it's gone through. It's finished. It's done it. So we are completely done. So we can take a look and see what it's actually done. So it tells you what it is, when it was run, etc., dates and processes. So this is basically a clean system. So you can go through and see exactly what it's done and what it's changed. So say for instance here, it's removed 22 files there, 100 files there, 252 files there. So yeah, it's, it's basically gone through and cleaned the system. Now if it does find anything which is of a viral nature or anything which is bad, then it will let you know that as well. Obviously this is a clean system, so I can't really show you that. But it will also do things such as reset up Windows Defender. So if you've got Defender installed and for some reason something has disabled it, it will try to reactivate it as well. So uh, system resource turned off, so that has failed here. But on yours, yours may show that it has completed. Anyway, so that is it. It's uh, very straightforward, very simple to do. There's no kind of extra guff or fluff. It just does what it says on the tin and it appears to do it very well. And I have noticed actually on my other system, which I've run this on just for, for testing purposes. I did that about two or three weeks ago, just to make sure that when I make a video on something that is actually okay and legit, and the system has been great. The only thing I did notice is there was one program which no longer starts with Windows Startup, which it did previously, and that is the Discord app. Obviously you can just uninstall it and reinstall it if you want to, or just add a new startup task for Discord if you want to, but I don't mind, I just click on it. And my Windows seems to actually chug along quite nicely, seems a little bit quicker, a little bit more responsive, and feels uh, yeah very sprightly in its steps. So there we go, at this point now, we've got a nice clean system and there's no nasties on there, which is awesome. And it's got rid of some of the kind of the bloat stuff from startup and temporary files all that kind of great stuff. So if you just want to run this as a kind of like a second guess, so maybe you've got your Windows Defender or whatever your antivirus program is, but you just want to make sure that it's actually doing what it says it is. You can install this, run it through. It won't affect any of your antivirus software. And actually saying that, I should mention as well, in some instances, this script may flag a false positive because of the nature of how it runs, because there are scripts which are running, which yeah, Windows will look like a virus. It isn't, it's absolutely fine, but I just wanted to make you know that on Virus Total, there's a few couple of flags on there, but yeah, it's, it's absolutely fine. And I've checked my system after with other antivirus software, and yeah, it's absolutely clean as a whistle. Anyway, wanted to make you aware of that, just in case you're wondering, or maybe you get it and you want to put a comment in the comment section, don't worry, it's absolutely fine. And also, uh, over at Major Geeks, they've done some testing on it as well, and they find it to be absolutely great, as have I. So. I want to say thank you to FurtiveX for actually getting in touch with me because they saw some of my other videos and said like, uh, did you know this is some of the things we do? And I was like, well, okay, we'll take a look. And it's gone through some processes. Uh, originally the program actually did flag up when you tried to download it in Chrome or any other browser, it came up as being a virus, but they've actually taken the time to go off to the various companies and say, look, this file is absolutely safe. Can you please unflag it? as being a virus, which they seem to have done. So as we saw when we downloaded it, the program come down, it didn't say virus warning or anything, it just downloaded it. Even though it's an EXE, which generally those are a little bit problematic anyway. But anyway, I'm waffling on way too much. 
If you want to find out more about it, links are in the video description. Hopefully this video has been helpful to you. If it has, smash the like button. If you want to see more content like this on a daily basis, maybe consider hitting subscribe and also don't forget to hit the dingling button. That way you'll be notified of future video releases. But for now, I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To. Hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.